I'm here in a paddock of Lucerne between Wagga and Holbrook and being the start of winter we've just been through the flush of growth in autumn and we've started to pick up some issues with poor production in this paddock. The paddock was sown in June last year and it gave a fair bit of production but there are some weak areas and as you can see I'm just standing here just in an area that really is a lot poorer and we're going to have a look today to see if we can sort of identify the issues suspect it's potentially an acidity problem, but we'll check that out. Two very handy tools to have to check out what's actually happening with soils, and particularly in areas where you've got soil acidity, are a soil pH kit. There are several on the market. This one is the one I prefer because it's unbreakable, as long as it doesn't get too hot in the ute. The other piece of equipment which I've been using recently has, is a dig stick. It's a very useful tool to quickly take a soil core. It's a 20 mil core and you can bash it into the ground and I usually go down to about 30 centimetres just to see what the soil pH profile is like. So the soil pH kit and the dig stick, pretty useful tools to have in this area where we know that we've got acid soil. This is a typical area in the poor patch of the paddock. I'm just going to knock this core in about 30 centimetres just to see what the pH is like. So we've just moved across from the poor area into the good area. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Take a sample down to about 30 centimetres. We've got the two soil cores, one from the poor area and one from the good area. Before I put the um, pH indicator and the powder onto the cores, I'm going to clean it off first, just so I've got a clean face. You can see that the soils in the cores look very similar. They've got a browner area at the top that going down to a lighter area. You can see some black manganese nodules in it. This is just some indicator, the universal indicator that comes in the kit and some barium sulphate powder also from the kit. This powder is um, putting it on just to show up the colour that you can't see very clearly on the soils. And what we do, we leave this for just a few minutes just for the colour to develop. Just after a few minutes we can see that there's a clear difference in the colour of the two cores poor core here, when you look at this um, pH indicator card, the colour here is coincides with a pH of about five and a half, five. What we've got to remember with this card is that the pH units that these indicate are actually about one unit higher than the calcium chloride that we're using for the soil, or that come back from the soil tests that you send to the lab. So, this is really coming back at a pH of what we call calcium chloride, about pH four and a half. Compare that with the pH from the good area, and you can see here, it's quite purple at the top. pH would be probably mid, mid sixes, merging down to a greener colour, and that would be probably about five, and gradually getting more and more yellow, this depth. This has given us a very quick indication that there's probably an acid soils problem here. If you want to get um, a proper analysis with um, you know, real, real values for the soil pH, you need to send it away for a lab and that'll give you a much better guide as to the liming program you need to look at for soil like this. But while, while we're here in the paddock, it's really good if we go and have a look to see how the plants are responding to these conditions. We've got a very acidic soil and one that's less acidic. How the, how's the loosen plant responding? We've dug the hole in the poor area just to see what the loosen plants are doing. And if you have a quick look here, you can see, as we expected with the pH profile, the roots are really concentrated in that top five centimetres. There's very little evidence of root growth below the five centimetres. And you can see here a plant that we've dug up there's, the roots are very densely concentrated in that top layer. We've got a few roots that have struggled to try and get down deeper, but it's not a straight tap root that you'd expect in a loosened plant. 
We've just um, moved over to the good area, digging down to below the main um, root zone, down below about 30 centimetres, just to see where the roots are growing in this soil. Now the plants in this better area, you can see the roots are much more dense. You can see also we've got nodules that weren't present in the previous plants. And the depth of that, um, those roots is much greater. They haven't got that concentration of the roots in the, in the uppermost layer. It's, it's certainly much more dense further down the soil. So in about 20 minutes with a dig stick and a pH kit, we've identified that the likely issue with this patch in the loosened paddock is because of soil acidity.